but there's a magic number and it's 72. Hello, I'm John. And mathematicians have known for many, many years that for some reason, the number 72 is like a magic code that will tell you very important information. And it works like this. You take the... Shortwave radio broadcasts originating from unknown locations intended for unknown persons yet easily accessible by anyone. These signals contain encoded messages of intrigue for decades. What are they for? Who is listening? And why, in the modern age, is such an archaic form of communication still being used? To enter a very strange world. A world of alleged spooks and spies, of conspiracies and covert operations, of illicit transmissions across the globe. The secret agents on undercover operations. Or perhaps, just a way, what I'm about to show you is at the very least curious and possibly very scary indeed. Phillips has been listening to police scanners and doing his sums. He's worked out that it will take police about eight minutes to get to the scene. They set their watches to alert them when their eight-minute time limit is up. The North Hollywood heist has begun. In an extraordinary coincidence... In an extraordinary coincidence, just 20 meters away, two officers drive past in their patrol car. They suspect that the giant black clad figures are the notorious high incident bandits. The officers pull up and report a suspected 211, police code for an armed robbery. This is the actual call they make. This was completely automatic, man. They were just blasting away, and you just... And I said, well, let's go to the vault. John unlocks the vault and opens the lockers, storing the cash. So what does he do? He opens fire in all the money that's in that cabin. And I can see he's not believing me because he's, he's all of a sudden he got very quiet. But now he's putting his nose on me. And I was thinking, well, you know, this is this is it. This is really it for me now. Wow. Can't be. It's too soon. You know? I didn't even say goodbye to her. I didn't. They cover every escape route, blocking off junctions north and south of the bank. 
The police have cornered the robbers, but they've no idea what Phillips has in mind. He Unreleased police computer messages have stoked the political firestorm. Car-to-car -car exchanges that night suggesting racist attitudes. Of a domestic dispute involving African Americans that occurred before the King beating, one squad messaged, it was right out of Gorillas in the Mist. That car was manned by officers Ray Powell and Timothy Wind, both indicted last week in the King attack. It's not clear who operated the computer, but after that incident, one of them typed, I haven't beaten anyone this bad in a long time. And over their police radio laughter, and they called an ambulance for the hogtied and beaten motorist. This from a supervising sergeant to a command center. You just had a big time use of force, tased and beat the suspect of CHP pursuit, big time. The command center replied, oh well, I'm sure the lizard didn't deserve it. Ha ha. Now, it's payback time. And they just brought up these two huge guns. And that was the beginning of about 45 minutes. Finally, with bullets riddling his legs, and a Serrano goes down. He's been shot 29 times, but he's still alive. As SWAT officers move in to arrest him, Mataseranu has a final surprise. As soon as the suspect uh, was handcuffed, the only thing that he kept saying over and over was, shoot me, shoot me, kill me. We didn't respond to the suspect. We returned to the bank. Back on the streets, one injured man is still bleeding out. Emil Mataseranu lies here for 70 minutes until his body succumbs to the trauma and he dies. The high incident bandits fired over 1,100 rounds of ammunition. That's a bullet every two seconds. What were they hoping to achieve? They could have made their getaway. When officers raided their apartment, amongst tens of thousands of dollars, they found a possible cause for the gang's bizarre behavior. In the VCR was a copy of the 1995 Hollywood heist movie, Heat. The similarities between the film and the shootout are uncanny. I don't allow anyone to tell me how lucky I was. I don't, I don't buy it, and I don't, I don't let that pass. Luck is Vegas. Luck is horseshoe. Um, this was an act of God, a, a stroke of His hand over the whole situation. Three dozen rounds.